Jaywalking may not be on your top 10 list of dangers in the world, but one Valley family is on a mission to change that. Here's KTLA 5's Dave Malkoff. It was about this time early March just last year when 16-year-old Elena Fisher was walking across a busy intersection to catch a bus in the valley. Then a pickup truck slammed into her body at 40 miles an hour. I was at work and at 5 o'clock she wasn't calling me and I kept calling her and texting her and calling her and texting her and getting no response. Elena's mom and her longtime friends Four or five years. are here to remember that day and the frantic phone calls. And they said, please hold, don't hang up. She's been injured in an accident me and then I ended up calling a bunch of my friends and I had to hold it together. Having a priest standing in the parking lot waiting for you on your arrival because of your daughter's in the hospital. Should we go farther down you guys? The sign says tomorrow is not a promise. It means with one bad decision it can all end. Elena was negligent. She crossed on a red. Jaywalking caused Elena's accident. Jaywalking did this to Elena Fisher. That's why out of everyone who showed up on this corner today, Hi. Ryan. This one may surprise you. I'm Elena Fisher. I'm 17. I just turned 17. We call her Peach. They didn't expect me to survive. They did a fatality investigation on me for two weeks. Both my lungs collapsed. I had three blood transfusions. I had three pelvic fractures. My arm was broken. I'm going to have arthritis by the time I'm 25, they say. Peach has plenty of scars, but she's alive. But what does it feel like to be here at this intersection? Uh, it, it, this corner is just, it's just like, I almost died right there, you know? And it's weird being next to it. And like, I haven't been this close to it in a year, so it's weird. Sometimes that one bad decision can echo an entire lifetime. Yeah, and you think you'd be able to hear it or you'd be able to dodge it or whatever, but it's really not easy, especially if it's a full going 40 miles per hour. Because it's not just the kids crossing the street. It's also us as drivers. You know, are we looking at our phones? Are we texting? What are we doing? How are we accountable as well? Thank yeah. you for coming. It means a lot. Some kids do get second chances. Some kids don't. Just wait five seconds across the street. In Van Nuys, Dave Malkoff, KTLA 5 News.